What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Neg Entropy Chronicles. So, this is more of a real talk session. I want y'all to understand prison is not a rite of passage. But what is a rite of passage? A rite of passage is a ceremony or event marking an important stage in life, like birth, like marriage, puberty, even death. Nothing in there shows prison should be one of those things. I mean, you really have to think about it for what it truly is. You were talking about putting yourself in modern day slavery. Oh, well, jobs are like modern day slavery. You signed a contract, you're getting paid what you rightfully should be for that position. If you're doing the position right now, if you're doing better and you're not getting paid right, that's another thing to discuss. But as a human being, we are having our community of people go to prison and they're spending a lot of time in there losing aspects of the outside. You know what I mean? You're getting told when to eat, sleep, and ish. You know, you're dealing with enclosed quarters. It's, it, it, there's no real behavioral improvements for most of these people. They go in, they come out. Now, depending on how long they spent in there, they come out different with a different perspective on life, but how long did it take them? And then they've lost so much time of their life. How do you get that back? You can't. So you have to just continue on. There's people who do 5, 10, 15, 20 years. They come out. Technology is completely different. I've seen people go in, come out five years later. They had no idea what Instagram was. You know what I'm saying? They had missed all of that. You know what I mean? Everything was being missed. You know, people going in there, I'm seeing videos where people are bragging, flashing money in prison. Like, it's cool to actually be in there. That's not cool. You can't travel how you want to. You can't do anything like you truly want to. You are stuck wherever they tell you to be. And then, when you get out, you may be on probation, which means that you're still under some confinement. For however long that may be, you have to get permissions to go places. You have to get permissions to do this. Oh, if I want to go just randomly out to the state, but if I leave the state, I'm going to violate. So now I got to actually talk to these people. Why would you want somebody to be on your neck like that for the rest of your days or however long that may be? Also, why would you want to put your family through it? I want you to really think about this. When you go to jail or prison and you start doing that real time, who's putting money on your books? Unless you got a female that's doing it. But if you got people putting money on your books, they're taking money out of what they could be doing to advance their life in order to provide for you while you're in there. And you can be a grown man being provided for from your family. So you're literally becoming a hindrance on your family. How can you actually think that's cool? Why would you want to do that? You know what I mean? As a man, we're supposed to provide and protect. When you go into prison, you are now removing those two things that actually is the standpoint of what we are as men. You know what I mean? Now, it's not to bash anybody because life happens, don't get me wrong. But we have to start showing and pushing the needle away from this. You get what I'm saying? We were talking about since the 1800s, we have been having issues with our people going in and out of prison. It's got to stop. You know what I mean? Like, it's been a continual thing. It's like we're almost the aspect of the end. We are almost the definition of insanity. You keep repeating the same thing over and over and over, expecting different results. I'm telling you, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I rub people the wrong way. Not my intent, but really it is in the aspect of we got to stop making this like it's a cool thing. We should not, there is not a black person on this planet that should ever want to go into the prison system. Period. There is not something that we should eat. Man, whatever the reason, whatever thought process you can justify, don't, don't let it be the reason that you go. If you got to look at it and say, I could actually go to jail for this, back off of it. It's plain and simple, man. Just look at it and really think this situation through logically. Like, one day I'm going to get caught. And when I get caught, these are going to be some serious numbers. Let me try to do something else that makes more sense that I'll never have to worry about going there. I don't know, but let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And be on the lookout for more videos. All right, everybody? Peace.